Hi beauties and girls, we are back with another video. In today's video, we are talking about empties. Yes. Oh, and by the way, if I have not said, please subscribe. Go ahead and hit that button. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. We would love to have you over here at the Melissa Q channel. And yeah, if you are new, just welcome. Glad that this is your first video that you want to see what's in my trash. But we don't do some trash talking today, okay? So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It's going to let you know that I post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And I'm thinking about changing that to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let me know. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it because I have a lot of them because I did not do a July empties video and it was just because July was crazy for me, but we are back. We are back for August. So this is an accumulation of July and August and y'all know we are doing project 250 empties. Yes, this is a way that we're actually not buying purchasing items but we are using what's already in our collection in terms of hair in terms of body in terms of makeup oh so comment down below let me know if you would just like makeup empties and see everything that I'm emptying out which is really in actuality like my makeup project pans but there are things that I don't have in my project pan that I am emptying out and I'm actually finishing off so let me know if you want that in a separate video but in this month we're gonna put it all together okay no more jibber jabber because it's probably gonna be a little long video and I'm gonna try to like whisk through this not do too much editing let's get into this video. okay so I got it in this Ralph's bag and they're charging for the bags now we need to like conserve okay okay so the first product is a hair product this is from s beauty this is their soft and tenderly this is so good that's why i had it in a 16 ounce this is amazing for a leave-in conditioner and a deep conditioner i do have an old 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 video on this but i'm thinking about doing like like a reloaded of loves that I had in the past because those are kind of old. I don't even know if I want to show those on my channel anymore because they're so old and the, the video quality, I mean, this quality I'm about to upgrade, but that one definitely is not the best. I started off on a webcam. We just saying, but this is amazing. Yes, I would re okay, This is the Perry and Spirit Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. I did like this, but I do like the Cinema Secrets better. So although I did like this for a moment and I'm out of this, uh, I won't be repurchasing this right now just because I'm loving the Cinema Secrets. And I think it's just a preference of scent. And these, after this gets old, it kind of leaves a residue, but this one actually cleans lashes and stuff. I might probably gonna repurchase this because this one actually cleans your eyelashes let me know if you want to see a video on that yes I'll repurchase this just for the sake just for the fact that I can clean my lashes with that so. I have not been doing facial wipes as much just because I've been doing oils but this is the elf makeup removing cleansing cloths uh, yes I repurchased this even if it's for swatches but I haven't been using them at much. Dr. Teal's the Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. This is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I use this to suck my feet when I want to do a pedicure at home. But I really do like this and it smells so good, Lord. Y'all know this is my favorite lotion. I use this on my sons and the whole family. This is like the family lotion. This is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. You gotta get the one with the almond oil. This is for dry to very dry skin. Talk Makeup Shayla turned me onto this. Amazing, yes girl. I've been using this for about a year now, so I really do love this. So I already got one, yes. Uh, This is the, these are the ones that my son, they suffer with like eczema, but it's gotten a lot better because of what I put on them. And this is the St. Eyes and the Up and Up brand of the Shea Butter and Oatmeal Body Wash. Yes, Lord, this is like the, this, this is the body wash for my son. The body wash that I love is, this one is my favorite. This is the pear and aloe vera scent. This is amazing. You're usually going to see Caress and Dove when it comes to me. And I purchased Dove for my husband and the oatmeal for my son. So Dove, this one, the pear, oh, I got to open it, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. This, this is so good. This is one that likes one eye just opens up and you're like 
<laughs> it smells so good. I know. Ugly faces. That's when you know it's good out. That's when you know it's good. Okay. This is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil. This is the Pure Luscious Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner. Yes. This is a repurchase for me. It is very scented. So if you are sensitive and you don't really like a flower, flower, flowery scent, I want to yeah it's heavily scented but and it does linger in your hair if you're not wanting that you probably want to go for another cleansing conditioner but this one is from the drugstore this one's eight dollars i would repurchase this i do also like the ever curl by l'oreal and i got it for like two dollars so i would repurchase this but i do have some other ones i'm not going to be purchasing it in the future but i'm saying if i would you know when i start to run out this is something that I would pick up. Let's stick to hair. This is the Manuka Honey Mephora, Mephora Oil. Yes, this is a rep this would be a repurchase for me. I do have a ton of deep conditioners, so I won't be doing that anytime soon. But this is a repurchase for me. This is like number two on the hydration list if you love Shea Moisture. Highly recommend this one. And I also have the this is the Smooth Naturals. Perfect Moisture Deep Conditioner. This one has amazing slip. It smells so good. Ooh, it smells like, ooh, sugary banana whipped cream. I don't know. It's amazing. This one is a repurchase for me. I'm going to try to get all the hair stuff out of the way. Okay. This is the Achille Alma Res Red Raspberry Deep Conditioning Hair Mask by Afro-Beta. I did like this, but I felt like I did not get as much hydration as a hair mask. I felt like this one was more of a conditioner than a hair mask. And I usually don't get that, but this one was not as thick. I like thick um i love thick hair masks that i still that gives me slip i felt more like this is a condition i felt like it really didn't do anything for me so yeah it was okay i wouldn't repurchase that though because i have other things this is the cream of nature perfect edges i really do like this i do have another one of this if i did not empty it out no i have another one of this so i really like this would i repurchase it yes especially for my straight hair i did not like this for my this my curly hair it was like girl stop really you gonna need something stronger for me so uh yeah this would be for my straight hair so i would repurchase that but i wouldn't put it on my curly uh, hair this is the shea moisture shea moisture this is the shea sugar scrub by tree hut the moroccan rose i have another one one of these uh yeah yeah this is amazing best scrub from the drugstore don't sleep on tree hut okay don't sleep on it you can get it from walmart too i really do like that this is the smoothie star body buttercream soap and glory has the best body creams from the drugstore that and tree hut tree hut and soap and glory best stuff you can get if you want a buck for your budget you want to go for the tree hut because i think i want to say it's like 7.99 but that is pretty good too going back to hair i'm gonna wait ones that i have not completely finished is probably because i regret buying it so i'm gonna do a natural hair i regret buying but this is the monongo hemp sea oils high porosity moisture seal finishing elixir this has a uh, boa bath protein and apple cider vinegar i love this stuff this is a super repurchase for me yes lord and the other thing it taught me is that i like oils that I can spray in my hand and kind of distribute the product. I just got better application and my hair came out bomb. I love this stuff. It's a repurchase for me. Okay. Back to body care. This is the pink chiffon. This is probably my best favorite body wash from bath and body works. I just like the pink sugar smell. So it's a repurchase. I have another one of a caress. This is the White Flowers with Almond Oil. This was one of my favorite. Next to the Carrot Butter Brown Sugar. This one is my favorite, my second favorite. And I need to figure out where I can get the White Flowers and Almond Oil. Because I didn't even know this existed until I went to 
big lots and saw this but i really do like that scent it's a repurchase for me let's get into some skincare and makeup i got a lot of empties from that that's why i want to see if you guys want me to separate it this is the mary Kay three in one cleanser it is a staple of mine in my skincare regimen it is a cleanser toner and exfoliator all in one i like it because it's like a multi-purpose one-stop shop yes it's a repurchase it's amazing and it has this is the one for normal to dry skin because it's a creamy the gel one is normal combination to oily so i really do love okay. this this is a repurchase for me i love this is the fresh soy face cleanser these i really do like the fact that sephora gives these to you in like point perks and stuff like that this is great for travel i love it it's super duper it reminds me of the purity may simple but like luxury on the luxury level i really do love that and that would be a repurchase i gotta go back and buy some of this because this was the bomb okay this is the kills midnight recovery eye cream you use this at night i can feel the essential oils in here this is amazing this very hydrates your eyes is so good repurchase okay this is the maracuja sea brightener eye treatment this is really good too but let me tell you this one is really heavy i don't know if i'm gonna pick this back up something is giving my eyes milia and that is the little white bumps and what did that what that is is your it clogs your pores and i think it might be this i'm not sure that's why i'm i do have another one so i'm going to try that one maybe for a week and see if milia pops up if i if it does then i'm not gonna buy this anymore but i really did like how hydrating this one was this one is not as good as the kills though so i probably i like this but let me see if it's giving me milia and then we'll talk about it later okay finally i got through this this is the josie Marin argon daily moisturizer and spf 47 this would be a repurchase for me after i get through all these doggone spfs it's gonna be a while okay but i am working on my second one and i'll probably be done with that by the end of the month i want to say but this yes this is definitely like my favorite spf it does have a tint to it which is which means that you can kind of wear it by yourself i can't but if you're lighter you can because it has like a kind of peachy tint i feel like that it kind of tries to color correct i guess that's what it's trying to do because it's more of a on the pink tone but i have to wear uh something over it but i really do like how emollient that's like an emollient one because it has argon oil in it it's really good if you have dry skin. okay so these i am decluttering because these are dried out so that's why it's in an empties video um i really did like this though this is the rocker chic velvet this is a waterproof lip liner by jcat i really did like this but it dried out really quickly so i wouldn't repurchase that just because i haven't had those i haven't had that as long as my other ones and i've had some for years some lip liners for years and i really did like you know i really did like I, I like my other lip liner so I wouldn't repurchase that the other one is an old like I think knockoff of a dupes um, a dupe to a Mac pit lip pencil and it's dried out too I can't even read the writing so that's why I'm not even mentioning it um, this is the matte lash by uh, the balm I did not like this because of the wand y'all I almost I had to put a patch on my eye because this stabbed myself i stabbed myself in the eye so much and it was not that i can't apply mascara obviously i know how to but it was just the applicator and i didn't want to fight with it anymore this is the tardiest this is by far my favorite tart mascara it is so good lights camera lashes used to be the bomb for me and i would still repurchase that one but this one oh, so good and that's a repurchase for me and this is the hd concealer by nyx this is so good this let me tell you something i have this in tan and i put it i did not have time one day and i just put it all over my face because it was my skin tone it looks so good it looked better than a lot of the foundations that i have so if you can find this in your shade of a foundation and you want to like just go minimal this is an amazing concealer oh my lord definitely a repurchase for me you just have to keep it tight because it will 
dry out on you and I feel like this one dried out really fast but I don't think I had it really sealed tight and you want to put it in a dark cool place so yes this is a repurchase so those are all my empties you guys the other things that I have in here are hair care products that I regret buying so I'm coming with another video on that but until the next time I'm going to let you guys know where we are. I think we are almost at our goal of 250. I think we were at 166 the last time, but I will put the number here on the screen and y'all know we are almost there. Yes. And we still have September, October, November. So we ain't, we ain't going to stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Okay. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye loveys.